Hey, how's it going? This is your Daily Sweet Talk for July 23rd, 2023. Um, recently, I posted to my food journal that I was eating a Ritter Sport chocolate bar. And I'd seen in the replies of some other posts on Ritter Sport's Twitter that uh, people were mad about them for something. And I didn't really know what, but there were like a lot of memes that seemed out of context. But then someone replied to my post on my food journal which I, I don't interact with people on this account. I just I mean, if I'm going to reply to them, I'll reply through my main account. Um, but basically, it, they posted like a meme that was like, don't, uh, if you support Ritter Sport, you're supporting the war in Ukraine because Ritter Sport is still selling their products there even though Russia invaded Ukraine. Um, which seems silly to me. Um... It's now, so not only is it up to Ritter Sport to stop selling their products, uh, to step in to the, with this world affair, and I know a lot of companies have done that, um, which I don't, I don't know what to think about that because it's, it's, it's affecting the, it's a complicated issue, um, and I don't know anything about this stuff and I'm not educated, should not speak on it, but. Now it's up to me to tell to say to not support Ritter Sport because they they did not are still supporting uh, they're still selling their stuff in Russia not even supporting Russia just still selling their stuff in Russia and now it's up to me to step in and say well now that company is not getting my money um, and like I buy M and M's I buy. Hershey's chocolate, and I'm sure, I don't know, maybe Ritter Sport is more problematic than those companies, but I know for a fact that, like, Mars uses child labor in other countries, and, and I think Hershey, too, and they've been on trial for that, and I still buy those candies because at a certain point, it's like, well, what can you do? I guess you can vote with your dollar, but people are still buying these products, uh, and the alternatives can be just as evil. Um, you can try to like make sure everything you buy is ethically sourced and um, you know scrutinize over that for everything you buy and, and worry about that for everything you buy, uh, which costs more money. Um, but uh, and Ritter Sport does cost more money than those chocolates. But I was buying it at a at a lot store. I was excited when I was like, oh, I can buy a bunch for for a cheaper price. And then I got. People are like, no, don't buy Ritter Sport. Now you have blood on your hands. Um, I try to not support companies that I think are doing bad things when I can. I've never eaten at Chick-fil-A, and then the first thing I heard about Chick-fil-A was that they were like donating to these homophobic organizations, things like that. So I was like, all right, I'm just not going to eat at Chick-fil-A. Um, because I, don't, I hear it's good, and I don't want to like Chick-fil-A because... I, uh, I don't want to give them money that they're going to give to these organizations. Um, and that's how I go about this sort of thing, usually. You can't expect everyone to, like, clearly this person who was replying to me made this a cause that they are going to scrutinize over um, and, and like be dedicated to like to not eat Ritter Sport specifically because they're still in, in selling stuff in Russia and maybe other companies as well. But I'm going to go, on a, go out on a limb and say that they are probably supporting companies that they don't agree with the morals of um, in some way or another because that's just inevitable in the world we live in. Um, so really you can just, you just do what you can. You can't expect everyone to just, um, live 100% ethically through their like butterfly effect actions of like where they put, where they give their money. Um, especially for, you know, people just uh, living dollar to dollar or whatever. <laughs> like you, you, you buy what you can afford. Um, so yeah, I don't know. This is stuff the good place has talked about, I think, but I don't remember. I watched that a while ago. <laughs>